The doctor will see you now. So you're looking for a great party? Well, I got just the thing for you. Today's prescription is called Six Down. And the learning level for this game is moderate. What you're going to need to play this game is a deck of cards. And this deck is good for five people. Add an additional deck of cards for every increment of five players. The object of the game is to keep the lowest score possible. Suits don't matter, and please note the scoring for this game, because it is important in how you choose which cards to keep. Every card is worth its face value. Example, 2 is worth 2 points, 6 is worth 6 points, and 10 is worth 10 points. But please pay attention to these cards, because these cards are not worth their face value. Queen is worth 10 points, kings and aces are worth 1 point, and a jack is worth negative 2 points. At the start of your game, pick a number that will end the game. 200 is great for starting, but you can always change the goal if you are having too much fun. First start the game by determining who goes first. The dealer will then hand 6 cards to each player. Set up the cards face down in front of you, 3 on top, 3 on bottom, then make a choice of flipping over 2 cards. The player to the left of the dealer will go first. The player will have one of three choices. Picking up from the draw pile, the discard pile, or flipping over one of their cards. If you pick up from the draw pile, you have the option to keep the card or discard it. If you choose to pick up from the discard pile, you must replace one of your cards, either one that is face up or face down. But you must replace it, even if your bottom card was a good card. Choosing to reveal one of your cards will count as your turn, and you will not be allowed to pick up another. You are not allowed to reposition your cards on the table. The cards are locked down unless you are replacing them. Two matching cards on top of each other will cancel each other out, and count as zero points. Please note, placing one jack on top of another jack only counts as zero and not negative four. And to score zero, the cards must be on top of each other, not next to each other. If you happen to be the first to have matching pairs side by side, you will penalize the other players by automatically giving them 25 points each. It only counts if the cards are matching side by side, with no gap in the middle section. Only one person may achieve this goal per round. Once a player has flipped over all their cards, the remaining players will only have two turns each to finish the round. After the two rounds, the players must reveal what's underneath. A player must reveal all their cards after the two rounds are up. Whatever is in their pile are the points they accumulate. If you run out of cards from the draw pile, you have two choices. Reshuffle the cards still on the table, or the round ends right then and there and everyone must add up their points. Be sure to establish which option you prefer before the start of the game. Add up all of your points. Start by adding the cards that are on top of each other, taking into account the cards that cancel each other out. So for this round, a king on top of a king is 0, a 2 on top of a 2 is 0, and a 10 on top of an ace is 11 points. This round, I scored 11 points. Now let's add up this player's points. 7 on top of 10 is 17 points. 2 on top of a jack, which is negative 2, is 0 points, and 5 on top of an 8 is 13 points. This player got a total of 30 points. Write down your scores on a sheet of paper, adding to your score after every round you play. Also remember to add 25 points to your score if you were penalized by another player for getting the bonus.
And now here's your stronger dose. This game can easily be turned into a drinking, gambling, or stripping game. Make each 25 point mark a punishment. So as each player passes their own 25 point mark, such as 25, 50, 75, and so on, they must either take off an article of clothing, take a shot, or perform a dare. This game can also be turned into a tournament by having everyone pay money up front. Players will be eliminated from the competition as they pass the 200 point mark, or whatever mark you choose. The last player standing will win the cash. And now let's watch this game in its entirety. Let's add up these points. A jack and a seven is worth five points. Four and a two is worth six points. And a jack and a three are worth one point, giving Scrub a total of 12 points. Hello Nurse has a jack and a king that is negative one, a king and an ace worth two, and an ace and a two worth three points. That gives her a total of four points. Game Doctor has four over four, which cancels each other out to be zero, ace and a two, which is three, and an ace and a king, which is two, giving him a total of five points. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more games. While you're in the waiting room, why don't you try reading my book, Chasing the Fallen Angel? And that's what the doctor ordered.